Greetings to one and all. Welcome to my channel Knowledge Share to Delete Ignorance. This channel is created to share the knowledge of known ideas to the unknown society. Today in this channel we will be discussing about DLDC torque equation derivation. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for future notifications in this channel. Also, if you find that this video will be useful to someone, kindly share this video. And now, let's go into today's topic, PLDC torque equation derivation. The overview of the presentation is all about, first we will be discussing about the torque equation derivation and in the, for the torque equation derivation, the first thing we want to do is, we want to find the basic voltage equation of the BLDC machine. And this basic voltage equation will be carried out for three different conditions, that is for starting condition, no load condition and on load condition. And finally, from which the current expression will be derived and finally the current versus speed curve will be plotted. So yeah, if you know the current expression, then it is easy to derive the torque equation. So after finding the current uh, versus speed curve, we will be going into the torque equation derivation and we will be proceeding with uh, two different cases. In case one, we will be discussing over the starting torque and in case two, we will be discussing over the onload condition. So this is the overall view of this entire presentation. And now let's go into the torque equation derivation. and. Uh, so, the, as I've said, first thing is we want to derive the basic expression of voltage equation for the BLDC machine. So, now let the supply voltage be the B, that is V be the supply voltage and I be the armature current and R phase be the resistance per phase of the star connected armature winding and VDD be the armature voltage drop or sorry, VDD be, be the voltage drop in the device. So this each and every device will be having the voltage drop. So that will be expressed as VDD. And normally it is neglected. So why it is neglected? Because it is very small when compared to the other uh, voltage drops and supply voltage. And similarly, E phase is nothing but, that is a small E phase is nothing but the back beam of generated per phase in the start connected armature winding. So from this, we can see that the total uh, supply voltage will be equal to 2 into E phase plus 2 into IR into I into R, R into R phase plus 2 into VDD. That is why this 2 is coming because uh, at, uh, in a BLDC, at, at, at any instant of time, two different devices will be switched on. So that's why it is 2 into VDD. Similarly, two different phases are switched on and because of which we are writing 2 into E phase and because of which again, it, it will be 2 into I into R phase. So, as I have said before that VDD will be very less when compared to the other two parameters and because of which we are neglecting in this expression and from this we can find what is the expression for I. So, I will be equal to, so you just uh, interchange this values and finally you will be getting V minus 2 into E phase divided by 2 into R phase and this expression is somewhat less similar to the conventional DC machine expression that is I equal to V minus E divided by R. As I have said, we will be uh, discussing this uh, voltage equation of VLDC motor for three different conditions that is first is starting condition, the next one is no load condition and finally we will be discussing on the on load condition. Now let us discuss with the starting condition. So as you all know that at starting condition the speed is 0, so omega m will be equal to 0 so, and, and by the supply voltage is V. So since omega m equal to 0 that is the back m of also will be equal to 0 because back m of is proportional to the speed. And so, the starting current I STG will be given by V minus, so since E phase is 0, so that the 2 into E phase will become 0 divided by R into 2 phase, so which is equal to V by 2 into R phase. So, this is also similar to your basic uh, equation of the conventional DC machine, that is V by R. So, here uh, it is 2 into R phase because at any time in case of Y connected, so two different uh, uh, windings will be, uh, will be conducting. So, R will be equal to 2 into R phase. So, this current is called as the starting current. So, in order to find the starting current of the BLDC motor, it is very easy to find. That is, if you know what is the uh, resistance per phase of uh, of the BLDC machine and uh, if you know what is the supply voltage, it is easy to find what is the starting current. And next, we will move on to the no load condition. So, in case of no load condition, as you all know that the current will be 
very very small when compared to the loaded condition and because of which so the expression v equal to uh, 2 into e phase into uh, plus 2 into uh, i into r phase so here i is very uh, negligible because of which 2 into i into r phase also will be negligible so v will be equal to 2 into e phase naught so why i am naming it as e phase naught is because it is a no load condition so here uh, i uh, already in synchronous session we have derived the expression for E, into, uh, e, e phase naught. So, E phase naught is nothing but 2 into Bg into R into L into omega m naught into T phase. So, omega m naught is nothing but the no load speed and similarly T phase is nothing but the number of turns per phases and R is nothing but the radius of the air gap and Bg is nothing but the flux density. So, from uh, this expression has already been derived in the synchronous session and from so E phase naught can be replaced with this and from this you can write. So, here the other, uh, so the final expression comes out like this and from which we can, uh, that is flux density, uh, radius, length and turns per phase are all fixed by the construction parameters and because of which we can uh, keep it as constant, the only variable parameters is our voltage and our speed. So, we can equate something like this, that is V equal to Ke into omega m naught. So, omega m naught from this expression can be written something like this or it can be uh, written as V by Ke. So, in this case, the no load current is assumed as uh, approximately equal to 0. So, hope you all uh, remember, uh, remember this expression for the future substitutions. So, next we will move on to the on load condition. So, what happens when the VLDC motor is loaded? So, in this case we cannot take this I value as negligible. So, here uh, V equal to 2 into E phase plus I into uh, 2 into I into R phase. So, you just substitute the value of E phase over here and you will be getting an expression something like this. Again, if uh, you interchange these terms and find what is the value of I. So, I will be given by this uh, by this uh, expression. So, here this 4 into Bg into R into omega can be replaced by Ke. So, since it is a constant and fixed by the construction parameters. And finally, I will be equal to V minus Ke into omega m divided by R, uh, 2 into R phase. So, this is the expression for current for the BLDC motor under the loaded condition. And from this, we can plot the current versus speed curve. So, you can see that uh, as the uh, speed, uh, that is, uh, as the speed increases, okay. So, as the speed increases, you can see that the current will be decreasing or as the uh, so current and uh, speed are inversely proportional so here from from, from this you can see it is it is getting subtracted from the voltage v so similarly you can see that uh, uh, the curve will be a linear curve with uh, uh, that is as the speed decreases the current will be increasing so it will be something like this but this curve is always proportional to the voltage v if v is high it will be following this curve if v is getting reduced the curves also will be in a parallel uh, line, but it will be of reduced uh, uh, reduced line like this. Okay, so you can just uh, find uh, a speed torque. Let us uh, sorry. Let us the current versus speed curve in this fashion. And now, uh, so after uh, deriving the expression for current, and after deriving the expression for current versus speed curve, we have to proceed with the torque equation derivation, which is the main thing we want to observe. So, since we know the value of current, it is very easy to find the torque uh, expression. So, as you all know that power input will be equal to V into I. So, I am just uh, going to substitute the value of V as 2 into E phase plus 2 into I into R phase plus 2 into VDD in case of the uh, BLDC machine into I. So, you just uh, uh, multiply the, all the uh, parameters with I and take it inside and you will be getting an expression something like this. And this, from this expression, you can find that that is 2 into uh, E phase into I is nothing but the mechanical power that is being converted. And similarly, 2 into I square into R phase is nothing but the copper loss inside the machine. And 2 into V into I is nothing but the power loss inside the device, that is power electronic devices. And from this uh, expression, 2 into E phase into I, you just substitute the value of E phase, you will be getting an expression something like this. And finally, you just getting the expression something like this, that is 4 into BG into R into L into T phase into omega M into I. So, this is the basic general expression for any machine that is uh, mechanical power will be given by 2 pi n by 60 into t. So, 2 pi n by 60 is nothing but omega into uh, omega m into t. So, you got the expression. So, you just uh, compare these two expressions. So, this is also the mechanical power and this is also the mechanical power. Just equate these two expressions and from this you can see that omega m and omega m will be cancelled and the torque expression will be given by t equal to 4 into bg into r into l into t phase into i. So, as you all know that uh, the first, uh, these parameters Bg into R into L into T phase will be uh, fixed uh, from the construction point of view. It can be named as Kt and you all know that Kt is also equal to Ke. So, torque is directly proportional to current multiplied by Kt times. 
so uh, uh, so here as i have said we are going to uh, derive the expression for uh, both starting torque and as well uh, during on load condition and so first let us go into discussion with the starting torque so as you all know that uh, at the starting uh, uh, at the starting uh, of the machine you can see that omega m will be equal to 0 so i starting current already we have derived as i starting is equal to v by 2 into r phase so you can just uh, substitute these values so t starting will be equal to so uh, uh, you just substitute this i starting value in the basic expression of t so you'll be getting at the starting torque value so as you all know that uh, we have 4 into bg into rl into t phase in the kt so the starting torque value is given by uh, that is t starting will be equal to kt into v uh, divided by uh, 2 into r phase so from this expression you can find that the starting current that is the starting torque will be proportional to the voltage supply and inversely proportional to the resistance per phase so as you increase the voltage you can see that the starting torque is also getting increased so this is what the final conclusion we have to understand and the next case is that is on load condition so in case of on load condition you can see that uh, t will be equal to kt into i this is the general expression so you just substitute this uh, expression over here and from this you find what so the, the another one expression for i is nothing but v minus e. so uh, v minus uh, 2 into e phase divided by 2 into r phase so you just rearrange this expression and finally you just substitute the value of i over here so and you will be getting an expression something like this so this expression that is 4 into bg into rl into uh, T phase can be replaced by KE. So the expression from this, uh, you can see that omega m will be equal to V minus 2A into R phase divided by KE. And omega m naught, you know that uh, the value of omega m naught already we have derived that is V by KE. So whereas uh, the speed uh, 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 for different values of load is given by V minus 2 into I into R phase divided by KE. So you can find the value of speed at any load condition and also you can find what is the value of no load speed. Okay, when the when the drive that is your VLDC drive is not connected to any load, so this is the expression. And whereas uh, if it is connected to load, depending on the current value, the speed will be changing. So from this, you can see that uh, I just want to find what is the ratio of uh, omega m to omega m naught. So uh, I, you can just divide these two, and you'll be getting an expression something like this. And finally, the expression will be like this. So you, after uh, reducing this, it will be something like this. So also uh, that is the torque uh, uh, ratio with respect to ta starting torque will be given by this expression since uh, torque will be equal to that is kt into i whereas uh, uh, torque starting torque will be equal to kt into i starting. So this is the general expression. So and finally you just substitute this expression. So i starting will be uh, you know the expression that is uh, uh, i starting will be equal to v by r phase. So this uh, v, by r, uh, v by 2 into r phase. So kt and kt will get cancelled and you will be getting an expression something like this. And so the final expression for t divided by t starting will be equal to this. So this expression and this expression is same. So you just substitute this omega m divided by omega naught will be equal to 1 minus t divided by t starting. So as you all know that t is proportional to i and t starting is proportional to i starting. So t divided by t starting will be equal to i divided by i starting. So this is the general expression and from which we are going to plot the torque versus speed uh, characteristics uh, in the future sessions. Thank you very much for your patient listening. I hope uh, this uh, derivation is uh, clear to you and uh, really uh, if you like this video, you just uh, give thumbs up to this video and uh, if, you, uh, if you really like uh, uh, this video to be shared with someone, also kindly share with uh, someone and uh, also I request you to subscribe to the channel for and press the notification button in order to uh, get the future notifications for whatever video which I am posting in this channel. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you all. Thank you once again.